Let's look at API-led integration with SAP Integration Suite. Hi, I'm Ian Thane. Welcome to another SAP Code Talk. And I'm really pleased to have Shilpa and Vishnu with me on Code Talk today. Welcome to both of you. Thanks, Jan, for having us here. Hi, Jan. Thanks. And, and I'm going to add, and I'm going to address you, Vishnu, because you are a newbie. I love newbies on uh, on the SAP Code Talks. Would you like to take a few moments to introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, my name is Vishnu. I head the engineering team for API Business Services at uh, SAP. I come with an industry experience of about 18 years and a good uh, 17 years of that has been with uh, SAP. Uh, and uh, uh, in these years, I've been working uh, across the various layers in the technology stack. In the last four to five years, my focus has been around uh, developing technical cloud native service uh, on top of uh, SAP business technology platform. I am with API services uh, uh, at SAP since the last six months. And uh, that way, I myself am a learner in this area. Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to pick a question which should be it's like the, the lowest hanging fruit of questions. Vishnu, why are APIs or why should APIs still be important to developers nowadays? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, APIs, in my opinion, are the enablers and hence uh, the foundation for uh, digital transformation. Uh, APIs are important for uh, three reasons. Uh, one, they form the building blocks of extensions uh, uh, where you can extend the functionality of an application or a service. Two, uh, it forms the building block of integration, be it B2B or B2A or A2B, or cloud to on-prem and vice versa. And uh, last but not the least, uh, APIs are also the means of monetization. So given this, APIfication of application or business services should really be a thought through process uh, in enterprises. We are really talking about large scale, highly available and high throughput APIs. Excellent. Okay, cool. That's a, that's a really nice summary. Shilpa, I'm going to turn to you. What's, uh, what is Digital Integration Hub? I've seen that around. And how does it support API-based architecture for, for the developer audience? Yeah, sure, Rian. So uh, Digital Integration Hub is an application architecture for implementing large-scale, high-throughput APIs by inserting a high-performance in-memory data store layer between the API services layer and the system of records. And this system of records, uh, maybe it can be on cloud or on premise too. So as Vishnu mentioned, we are really talking about high performance and high throughput APIs. So the key components of Digital Integration Hub includes your high performance data store, the front end API services and integration layer. So uh, let's go to the second part of the question. How does it support API-based architecture? And mm -hmm. I would move one step back and explain you the challenges with API-based architecture, pure API-based architecture. So uh, when you talk about the large enterprise applications, they are difficult and costly to scale, to handle massive API loads, right? Mm -hmm. Second one is like difficult to leverage cloud native APIs over legacy business systems. When they are really tightly coupled together. And that is where the third point comes, fragmented data across multiple application and data store makes integration really complex. So how digital integration hubs, uh, digital integration hub architecture helps is uh, in the following way. First, it decouples the backend data source from your front end API. Mm -hmm. It protects your backend for, from excessive uh, front end APIs or the load and finally, it helps you to modernize your legacy system so that you have the higher response time. So this is how uh, your digital integration hub supports API-led architecture and integration suite supports this too. 
uh, I will just give the uh, overview of the architecture. We have the backend system of records as the lower layer. Then you have maybe SAP HANA as the in-memory caching layer, what I was talking about, the complete DIH architecture. Okay. Then you have your cloud platform, I mean, business technology platform, API management or API layer on top of it, and the complete developer ecosystem. So this is how it supports API-led architecture and integration suite supports this. Yeah. Well, Vishnu, um, going back to the start of the code talk, I mentioned SAP mm -hmm. integration suite. So how does SAP integration suite actually support uh, API-led uh, integration? Uh, SAP integration suite is in principle, a realization of a digital integration hub that Shilpa just described. Uh, SAP integration suite, uh, uh, you know, comes with a host of components uh, with the capabilities to realize such a digital integration hub. At the center of uh, SAP integration suite is uh, what we call as cloud integration. So this basically forms the transformation and the mapping layer for the processes and, da uh, and data. Uh, SAP integration suite, uh, you know, comes with open connectors and connectivity in order to accelerate uh, connectivity to SAP and non-SAP cloud applications, and also between cloud and on-prem applications, respectively. Uh, we have Integration Advisor, which is part of Integration Suite, which basically helps us to accelerate the mapping between the source and the receiver, and uh, it uses machine learning capabilities in order to accelerate the mapping. Uh, Integration suite also comes with uh, what we call as uh, enterprise messaging, which basically helps us to decouple the communication between the source and the receiver in, a, in, a, in an asynchronous and in an event-driven approach. And finally, uh, integration suite uses uh, API management to expose the data and processes as APIs. API management then cares for API governance like security or authentication policies, or be it traffic management policies like quota or rate limiting. So what I just described is basically a mechanism of consuming an integration content via an API layer. Vice versa is also possible that you start with API and an API policy definition, mm -hmm. and then subsequently define the corresponding integration content. So this is exactly how SAP Integration Suite, uh, uh, you know, so uh, uh, provides uh, a mechanism with which uh, you can connect and integrate the intelligent enterprise, but in an API-led manner. Okay. Uh, same with you, Vishnu. How do we accelerate um, API uh, from API discovery to consumption? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, SAP provides uh, API Business Hub uh, as part of uh, integration suite. Uh, it's basically a global catalog for all your integration and extension need. What one can do via API Business Hub is effortlessly discover content and APIs from various products and vendors. Such a discovered content and API can then directly be consumed in the respective SAP products or uh, in WebID or Business Application Studio, right? When you are developing applications. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as an example, you can search for an integration content, a package integration content in API Business Hub, which is exposed as an API, right? And then directly consume such an integration flow in CPI workspace. Now we are also going one step further to give SAP API Hub type of experience also to our customers. And how do we do this? We do this via a capability called as SAP uh, API Hub Enterprise, which is part of SAP API Management. And uh, I already mentioned that API Management is a component of integration suite, right? Mm -hmm. So in short, via API Hub Enterprise, which is a new uh, capability of uh, our integration suite, our customers can have their own API Business Hub. Such an API Business Hub allows our customers to uh, you know, consume uh, content published 
uh, in various uh, API portals in their respective LOBs and bring them on to one global catalog. So basically this way, uh, you know, so uh, one can uh, uh, accelerate and enhance the experience of consuming APIs and package integration content with SAP integration suite. And you can really jumpstart your integration projects. Cool, okay. Going back to you, Shilpa, I want, I want you to leave our developers with a call to action on how they can craft and execute their own API strategy. Yeah, Jan. So as you know, uh, we invest a lot uh, in developing collaterals, high touch, low touch enablement programs for our developer ecosystem. And the same has been reflected in the recent decade being done for SAP community, right, Jan? And uh, luckily, mm -hmm. we were again together yesterday we talking were, to we our were. complete ecosystem. <laughs> yeah. So that was really good. And going uh, ahead, also, we have a lot of uh, ticket sessions planned. Also, we are planning to directly talk to our developers uh, to answer their questions, what they have in, with respect to the complete suite services. Yeah, but uh, apart from this, we have Discovery Center missions. Mm -hmm. We have dedicated coaches for you there, which will help you to start your journey with integration, uh, integration suite at SAP, and you can craft and execute your API strategy with SAP. We have a lot of tutorials to start your journey. As Vishnu was mentioning, you can create mobile applications business application studio applications, uh, you know, yeah. web ID applications. We have a lot of tutorials on developer.sap.com to kickstart mm -hmm. your journey. And last but not the least, we have a lot of blogs on SCN community where you can kickstart your journey. And I'm very sure that you all know about our open SAP courses. Uh, in July, we are coming up with a new open SAP course for cloud integration. And there also we'll be covering complete suite as a whole. So stay tuned for this. Exactly. And I think I will, I'll be promoting those on uh, SAP developer Twitter and Facebook as well. Shilpa, Vishnu, had, it's been such a great uh, co-talk to have uh, you with me. Uh, please uh, see you again soon. Keep safe and thank you so much.